I'm Tony Papa from Pro Media Gear. Today we're going to talk a little bit, quick five minutes of your time to learn a little bit of our SS2 strap system. Hope yeah. everybody's starting to enjoy their spring. It's finally in most parts of the United States getting to be that time of year where we're getting antsy, we're getting outside, we're shooting some wildlife, at least heading to the park, taking walks, getting out of the house. Uh, it was beautiful in the Chicagoland area the last couple days and then today it's like 41 and rainy so it's uh, quite terrible. Getting ready for uh, trade show season coming up. Hope to see some of you guys at uh, Shutterfest is coming up right around the corner uh, right after Easter. Um, Pro Media Gear will also be down at Texas School uh, supporting Arlington Camera as well as uh, you know getting to see all my friends down in the Austin area while I'm there so it's great to see Al Banky when I'm there. Um, big shout out to you big guy. Looking forward to seeing you. Um, all right, you good, Tom? Think we're good? Yeah. All right, thanks for waiting. Again, my name is Tony. I'm from Pro Media Gear. Today we're here to talk about you, not drop stuff. Talk about the SS2 P1 quick release strap adapter that we manufacture. So this uh, strap adapter here, as we've discussed in multiple videos, is a plunger type system that pairs up with our bracket plates. Our bracket plates have a port in them. You just simply take the mechanism, depress the plunger, it goes into the plate itself, locks in using hardened steel ball bearings, it doesn't come out. It's going to allow you 360 degrees of rotation, not come out until you press the magic button, comes right off. Now as discussed before, we make a universal PBX3 bracket plate as well as custom plates and a few other opportunities that offer the quick release feature. We've got the SS2 P1, it's a one piece design. A lot of straps on the market we always tell customers. It's one inch webbing, keep an eye out for that. The strap would simply weave through the strap and then back onto the mechanism. Now, their straps out there nowadays are getting kind of savvy on the straps. They're sewing them closed, closed loop designs. With that being said, it's difficult to utilize uh, the larger one inch webbing straps without cutting some threads, finding a seamstress, doing some stuff. We've got you covered on that. Please check out the SS2 P3. It's a two-piece design. However, with this one-piece design, it does open up a ton of opportunities for other straps on the market. We've paired up with our friends at Peak Design. Peak Design is an excellent company. If you're not aware, they make some excellent straps and messenger bags and other, ex other items such as those. Um, check them out. But they've got a really nice strap, almost like a seat belt material, and they use almost like a parachute cord with little dongles on the end that works great on the SS2 P1. So this strap here that we're now carrying on our website at uh, promediagear.com is called the slide. Think of it like a seatbelt strap. I've got it right here. It's got some nice, uh, what do you call it, like silicone um, glued onto one side, smooth on the other. The silicone pads are going to like catch on your shoulder better, keep it from slipping. It's uh, adjustable and such. And then how theirs works, I'm trying to show the camera if you're unfamiliar, they use these little dongles with a little closed loop on the end. And these dongles here go into their capture system and lock down onto the left and right side of the strap, respectfully. You see that? And we'll do it a couple times, I'll show you how it works, but so what's nice is they're detachable, so you can take the strap completely off, and they also use these closed loops. Well, what's cool about that is that you're able to take their system, I'll come in a little closer for you, and you're able to take their system here, and you're actually able to go through our closed loop design, and go ahead and just flip this, on itself. See that? Get out of the way, get my big head out of the That's way here. Good. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and do that twice. One for the left side, one for the right side. You're just gonna put them both onto the mechanism. Now what's pretty cool is you can just physically show this the easiest way we can. That shirt is like a lint trap today. You just press in one of the little Peak Design adapters and just pull it closed. Here that click, it's in there. Go ahead and take the other one. 
Same way, you just put it down on the top where it's bigger, push it down, and it locks down into place. So now it makes a, a strap, a nice sling strap. You go ahead and put that on. And then these tongle or dongles, whatever you want to call them, will move a little bit within the inside of the SS2P1. Perfectly fine. It's a great fit for it. And now you've got our quick release adapter mechanism right onto this Peak Design slide strap. And now you're going to be able to use it with your camera. I'll show you I've got a couple different camera options here. Got the oldie but goodie 20D with my kit lens 18 to 135. We got the universal bracket plate on the bottom here with our adapter for our quick release um, harness. And you're just going to plug in that there. Wait till this pops up, like we've discussed before. Make sure that pops up proud. It's going to allow this thing to spin 360 degrees and then only come out when I want to unplug it. So now I can go ahead and you know, get into a comfortable shooting position utilizing this Peak Design strap and then you have the opportunity on their strap this opens up this little clip and I can pull on it and that's how it like changes the, the height of the strap it's really easy and quick and easy to do you just lock it out on there that's good it's the Peak Design slide strap on the SS2P1 I can unplug it quickly show you how it works on some other cameras here. we got the original 7D. I've got a plate from Pro Media Gear, but we um, an older plate that doesn't feature the quick release adapter. But I do have a lens plate. My lens plate, we have a PX4, PX6, and PX8. And it does feature that. So now that I can plug in, make it a little longer again. Got the opportunity to plug right into the lens plate. Make sure that pops up proud. I can carry my camera in a comfortable shooting position. Whichever way, if I like it backwards, forwards, then you can move the plate as well. You should probably flip this plate completely around just to fit a little differently, but play with it. We want, unplug it. It's that simple. You can even carry something heavier like the 150 to 600 from Sigma. You've got the opportunity to just plug it on in, the PX6. Make sure that comes up flush. I like to carry it, you know, just kind of support it a little bit underneath my fingers here. That way I can walk with it in the woods, do whatever I want. And I got my hands free. I can easily go ahead and shoot. Put it down. Keep on walking. Anytime I want to take the load off or go onto a gimbal or a tripod, I just simply unplug it. Lay it on down and I'm good to go. Now because of the SS2P1, capabilities are pretty much endless. We make a lot of different plates with that feature on them, so check them out at our website. The Peak Design Strap. Same thing, it's a great little system. You're allowed to come off of it, and then maybe you're done with the strap, but you've got other opportunities to use these. We also feature the clutch, which is their um, hand-holding system um, for the side of your palm on the, on the right side of the camera. They also have other accessories. They also, the slide kit is a complete slide kit from Peak Design. It's gonna come with their small plate. That small plate's great for smaller cameras. It's gonna be able to feature these little things and then be able to carry it with their own strap and then if you wanted to add our piece we recommend the CB60 V2 which is a clamp bracket version 2 it's going to be an ARCA compatible clamp that does feature that port on the bottom for the quick release adapter so the possibilities open up a ton when you look at the Peak Design slide strap paired up with the Pro Media Gear SS2 P1 that's it for today we're going to take some quick questions see if you guys have anything Seems We're just like, excited about this. Seems like we lost Facebook. Okay. Yeah, some network issues. Um, all right, so one second, Tony, if you could tell us what you need to make it fully functional strap, all the pieces. Okay, so fully functional strap, what you need to order is just look on our website for the strap kit. And it's going to be the SS2P1 and then the Peak Design Slide complete package. The Peak Design Slide is going to be your strap. The SS2P1 is just going to be your mechanism. With that, you will need a compatible plate. So you're either going to need a custom plate, look at our website, or see if you already own one. If you have one of the plates with a hole in it, with like a silver or sometimes black insert. Also the PBX3, which is our universal, most popular plate. Look for that. You're either going to have an older style one like this with orange stripes on it, or you're going to have the newer one with a little black uh, sticker on it with a pad. And both of those are going to have that, as well as a multitude of other Pro Media Gear bracket plates are going to feature that adapter ring. 
And that's all you're going to need to get started. You just need the SS2P1 and this kit. The other thing to look out for if you're like, ooh, I own another strap on the market already, but this is the first time you're really seeing the mechanism, the SS2P1 and SS2P3 are going to be the same mechanism with the plunger. The difference is the P1 is a one-piece design. The P um, SS2P3 is going to be a two-piece design where you have the pin can come out and retrofit on the other straps on the market. So that one, if you have a one-inch webbing strap from another manufacturer, you can physically put it on, reinstall the plunger or the little bar, excuse me, and go ahead and use some screw glue or Loctite that we give you and set the set screw in there and you'll be all set. So you got a lot of options. Check out ProMediaGear.com or one of our authorized resellers today and ask them about the SS2P1 quick release strap system. Any questions? Uh, so somebody already has any type of a peak design strap, can they use it with our system? So the best of my knowledge, yeah, any peak design strap on the market, I know they've changed these a little bit from shape and functionality, but the, the style and the, the, anchors the, are the anchors are the same. Yeah. Um, thank you. Um, the anchor, the style of the anchor or any kind of closed loop that you can get over this, even straps similar that you can put and be able to grab through this is gonna work with our system. All right. Um, the other one, the question I think came up was, uh, you said something about the weight limits on the strap. So the strap load, don't go by the load of us, it's the load of the strap. The recommended load from us is 15 pounds um, or less. So I mean, basically anything on the market, camera-wise that you're carrying, willing to carry, it's gonna hold. The mechanism super strong. The strap um, is gonna be your failure area over the mechanism. But we like to say as a general rule of thumb, 15 pounds or less, you don't need to be carrying anything more than that. If you do, go ahead and rent somebody to carry your stuff for you or get a bag with wheels because you shouldn't be, nothing on the market's gonna be that heavy. So, um, any additional questions, Tom? No, we're good. All right. Well, thanks for checking us in. Um, I think today's Wednesday, Workshop Wednesday. This is Tony from Pro Media Gear. Until we see you again, have a great day. Thanks, guys.